Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Daniel Cross, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about Call of Duty Ghost Perks, and basically the new system that has pretty much revolutionized everything with Call of Duty Ghost. This is something that was a really big surprise to me, and I didn't expect it. I expected something along the lines of, oh, each class has like a tier 1, 2, and 3, and you get, you know, a set amount of perks, one per tier, and uh, this pretty much blew my mind. We have, I believe we have uh, 35 perks total. Um, they're divided into certain different classes and there is a perk system that I want to briefly explain real quick. The new perk system is pretty interesting. You have eight points per character um, and you can select a multiple uh, arrangement of perks. Now, perks cost one to five point each. Um, the cost varies depending on what the perk is. Uh, more perks can be acquired through specialists and the specialist bonus itself. Um, the secondary lethal and tactical equipment can be traded for a perk. Um, one perk each, so you get, instead of getting eight perk points total, you can have a max of 11. Um, this is an interesting thing because now the perks are bro broken down into speed, handling, stealth, awareness, resistance, equipment, and elite. Now with all these new perks, I tried my best to try to track down um, what is confirmed, what is not confirmed, and what is plausible. Um, we're going to go through the list and we're going to start off with the speed category. Speed, quick draw, fast hands. This was not available at the multiplayer event, unfortunately. Uh, slide of hand was. It's faster reloading. It's going to be similar to the older CODs. Uh, next is agility, faster speed movement. This will be interesting to have. Um, speed's always good. And marathon, longer sprint duration. Um, you can usually pick one to two perks in the same category. I want to mention that out there. Stalker, move faster while ADSing. Um, this is unconfirmed and I want to be very clear on that. Strong arms, throw equipment further. This means you don't throw like a bitch that you've seen in many of the videos already. On the go, reload while sprinting. This will be really cool to have because I know a lot of people running lightweight, you know, something like that will definitely benefit them. Fast hands is unconfirmed. Swap weapons quickly. Um, steady aim is still unknown. I would predict it to be like the past Call of Duties. It just reduces um, the actual bullet spray. Dexterity is still unconfirmed. Weapon ready after sprint. That'd be very useful. Uh, takedown. Enemies do not indicate where they have died to their teammates. So when you kill someone, no one knows where he died. Blind eye. Undetected by AI killstreaks. This will be pretty useful um, with all the new killstreaks. Off the grid. Undetected by enemy satcoms. If you guys don't like getting uh, called in by UAVs, that's something to use. Dead silence. Make no noise. Um, this is unconfirmed as well. Ghost. No red crosshair or name tag. Still unconfirmed. Just something from the past Call of Duty. Uh, recon. Spot enemies through explosives and hit markers. Still unconfirmed. We're not sure yet. Uh, it has the same radar emblem. Scavenger. Resupply a ammo from enemies. Sit rep. Enemies equipment are highlighted. Um, this is still very unconfirmed. We don't know yet. Uh, awareness. Enemy footsteps are louder. Same thing. Unconfirmed. We don't want to. We just want to speculate. Uh, wiretap. Use enemy satcoms as your own. That would be very powerful. Um, lightweight. Take no fall damage. Unconfirmed. Um, it's pretty simple. You can see the guy falling, so it might make sense. Painkiller. Quicker health regeneration. Unconfirmed. Toughness. Reduced flinch. Um, this is pretty standard. It has the same icon as the last Call of Duty. Uh, tactic, attack resist. Basically resistance to tactical grenades. Uh, this is something I actually use. Blast shield. Increased in resistance to lethal grenades. I also used that as well when I played. Uh, tactical plus one. Extra tactical grenade. I can't imagine anything else that this would be. Um, lethal plus one extra lethal grenade. These are all unconfirmed as far as this uh, resistance uh, class goes. Bandolier, extra mags is still unconfirmed. Plus one attachment, still unconfirmed as well. And I believe the last one here is danger close, but we still don't know yet. It shows a grenade or a bomb blowing up, so it would only make sense to think danger close. Gambler, this is actually really cool. Basically you spawn in and it gives you a random perk. Um, we don't know what it is. It could be a really strong perk. It could be a weak perk. Hardline, one less kill per point streak. Uh, ping, detect nearby enemies from enemies you killed. Now basically I use this. If you kill someone, they send off a ping and then it locates them on the radar if the enemy is close by. Overkill, allows you to equip two primary weapons. This is still, as well, unconfirmed. And this is where it finally gets complicated. Deadeye, consecutive kills increase your weapon damage and the higher your current kill streak is, the more damage you do to enemies. This is gonna be very powerful to have and I can't wait to see it in action. Anyway guys, now I have all the perks laid out for you. I hope you enjoyed that. If you find anything that was wrong or incorrect, let me know in the comments down below and I will try to get that corrected as soon as possible. I know a lot of this is speculation. I did get some hands on with it, but a lot of the perks were locked down. So I had to use a lot of different resources online from other people who played the game. Anyway, this is Cross. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like rating down below and I will see you guys soon with some more Call of Duty Ghost information and maybe some gameplay. Take care.